There we go. I think it's live now. Yeah, it says live on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Well, that was rough. <laughs> like I said, the joys of live. Let me see. So I'm really excited about your vanity. I'm not gonna lie. It's looking rough though, huh? Did you do the base coats? No. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. About to. So it's, um, it's for a teenager for Christmas. And the mom actually let her come pick the colors. And you know, all these beautiful DIY colors, like she had so many to choose from, but she did good. She mm -hmm. wants water, really. Mm -hmm. Of the actual mirror. Cherry picked is going to be down here. And then I'm gonna add some water lily here. So that's cherry picked. And then each of the sides are gonna be boho. Mm -hmm. I love to do it like this, you know, so everybody can see, you know, what yeah. it's like. <laughs> and then mermaid tail. And the beautiful Hey Sailor. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? It is. I just love the colors. So I'm going to start with the mirror and water lily. I don't know how you do it, but I don't tape off mirrors. I scrape it later with a razor blade. Yeah. Just seems easier. So what do you have back there? So this old lady down the street went into a retirement home and they knew that I did furniture. So they were like, hey, can you come take this furniture away for free? And I was like, uh, uh, yeah, be right there. Yeah. So I'm redoing my spare bedroom to include my husband to have space for whatever he wants to do. He's mad at Aren't you sweet. Yeah. So this is going to go in the spare room. Um, and the spare room has an interesting color scheme. It's a cranberry red and like a turquoise blue and a gray. And a gray. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that means you get to do anything you want, basically. Yeah. So what are you going to do? What colors? So I was thinking about doing cherry picks as like around here and maybe doing some kissing booth. I don't know. I just wanted to. Oh, like kissing booth. Beautiful. Just the drawers though. I didn't want to do the main part. Right, right, right. So yeah, I, but it's got a lot of detail in between the drawers. Somewhat. It's yeah. Not really deep. It's not what? It's not very deep. No, but you can make it look deep. <laughs> sure. You can do that for sure. I just love these new colors. So what of the new colors have you used so far? Um, none of them. So this is exciting if you're going to use cherry picked i know i went to the the local retailer just to grab me some of this stuff well i am a new diy retailer so when my order comes in you just let me know what you need <laughs> How long but i guess it's easier for you to just run pick it up in person huh yeah because last time i tried to order it took forever oh really yeah it took about two three weeks what I would always, obviously, I'm just now a retailer, so I've always ordered from other people, and mine has always come in like that, like in a week. That's crazy. That's why I'm like, I'm just not going to risk it. Like, I need big time. Right. Well, where, like, what was the location of the retailer? You're in Virginia, right? Yeah. They're in I Virginia. guess we should have said that. I'm South Louisiana. Like, I am in, Louisiana shaped like a boot, so I'm in the heel of Louisiana near the Gulf and near the Texas line. So you're in Virginia. So tell us, for those of us who are map illiterate, tell us where you're at. I'm in Virginia Beach. Oh, uh, you poor thing. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because it's such a, you always be a smart aleck. Like, because it's such an amazing place out here. Like, isn't it beautiful there? Yeah, I'm from Utah, so here is kind of boring. Oh, yeah. So what brought you to Virginia from Utah? Um, I was in the military and then- Nice. Was, My brother is active army. Oh, cool. 
How long has he been in? Um, for a long time. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, not 20 years, but more than 10. Somewhere around there. I guess that's bad that I don't know. No, it's pretty normal. I mean. I'm sure he knows how many days, months, seconds, hours. <laughs> He has been all over. He was, I, I can't tell you his exact job because a lot of times he couldn't tell us what he was doing or where he was going, but I know that he jumped out of planes and did a lot of physical type stuff um, and had like, you know, gone for a few days and then come back. And then of course he deployed. Yeah. Three times, I believe. And now to move closer to home, he was Colorado and then um, I believe California. No, I think California might be wrong. I can't remember. Anyway, to get, and then North Carolina, the most recent, two years ago. And then two summers ago, he got the opportunity to take a job that he wasn't excited about, but to be closer to home here in Louisiana at Fort Polk. So he's instructing now. I don't know what, but he's an instructor. And so he is only, we're from Shreveport, which is in the top of Louisiana, near the Texas line, top left of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in the bottom and he is in between. So he is at Fort Polk. And um, so he's like halfway between me and my brothers and sisters and my mom and dad. So he's happy to be home. Yeah. Ooh, that cherry picked is looking so good. I don't know how I'm going to blend it, but I'm just running with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, but if you you said you're going to try water lily? Uh, kissing. No. Kissing booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's going to be so pretty. If I want to just do a little bit of kissing booth and leave the white or just do the drawers, all the color. I wish you had water lily because you could do the cherry picked and then some kissing booth in the middle. And then the very center, you could do this water lily. Yeah, they didn't have any, but I do have sea glass and that was the closest I could find. Oh, and you said that room has got some turquoise, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that would look good. Let me, I don't even know. Oh, here, I have sea glass right here so everybody can see. Yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous, huh? Mm-hmm. I love that color. I have only used it one other time and that was just like an accent color. So that will be fun to see it big and bold. What's your most used color? Boho. I was going to say that's mine too. Yeah, boho blue. Now, I mean, probably if I tallied it correctly, it would be one of the whites, you know. I mean, I get a lot of, you know, people say antique white or off white, you know, so I use different colors. Crinoline a lot of times, but, you know, I find it has those yellow tones, like more of a cream, not an off white. Yeah. You know? But I do use that a lot. You know, everybody wants the farmhouse look. Do you enjoy painting farmhouse? Would you say that's your favorite style to paint? No. <laughs> What's your favorite style? Um, I I don't I can't say I have a style, but I love bright colors. You know, like just incorporating color. Yeah. Color makes me happy. You know? Yeah. And I guess my favorite style would be like, go crazy, do what you want, you know? Yeah. I remember you were saying you painted with popsicle sticks and you had a blast. Yes, it was so fun. It was an auction piece. And obviously auction piece, I get to do what I want, right? Yeah. And um, anyway, I used, I did the base coat with brushes. I'm gonna try to get y'all closer. I did the base coat with brush and then I did popsicle sticks and putty knives for the rest of everything. I poured out, you know, the DIY paint is clay. So I poured out paint on some plates mm -hmm. and let it get all gunky mm -hmm. and just slathered that stuff on and smushed it here and there and everywhere in the crevices. And it came out gorgeous. I just loved it. 
Yeah, my my furniture page is Born Again Furniture and Design. And what is yours? Lolo Rose Design. Lolo Rose Design. And after this, we will put um, our links yeah. in the comments for everybody. So you can go see some other works, videos. Do you ship? I do ship. I've only done it one other time, but I do. Have you done much of that? Nobody takes me up on that. I keep telling people. Yeah. yeah. So well, you know, furniture is, I mean, our work is art, right? Yeah. We, we're not furniture designers. We aren't furniture builders. Well, I'm not. Um, so furniture to me is just, just like a canvas. So, yeah. and I, you know, we were, I was talking about this to a family member yesterday, you know, furniture art is just like any other form of art, you know, it's for that special person, you know? Yeah. So I feel like there aren't 5,000 people out there wanting the same piece. It's that special person. Yeah. Who is called for that piece. just like any other piece of art. So how was your shipping experience? It was good. Sorry, guys. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. It was good. We have a local shipping company here. And it was only going about four hours. So it worked out perfect. Does it add a lot to the price of the furniture piece? It was about $220, I believe, extra. What was the piece of four hours? And I believe the piece, I can't, honestly, I can't remember what the piece was. But you probably have a local, a local shipping company. Oh, no, yeah. It's mostly for those people who don't, they get afraid to ship furniture because it's so big. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and well, then they're like, well, what if it breaks? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. And plus, you know, I feel like most of our followers are local, you know? Or my, well, a lot of my followers are local, you know? Pretty all At least on Facebook, that. you know? I yeah. think Instagram, I have a wider variety of followers. And maybe Pinterest, but on Facebook, it's a lot of local. Or the majority local. Hmm. So I think that's who our, our audience and that's who our customers are, you know? Yeah. Whereas Dion, she doesn't really have many locals at all. Hers is, you know, majority away. So how long have you been painting, I would say professionally? Um, well, that's how I started, you know, uh, I didn't really piddle for myself. I started initially for other people. Um, so I guess it's been eight years. So now I have health problems. So, you know, I might go six months doing nothing, but for the most part, that's what I do. I do like some other forms of art. Do you, or you just do furniture? Um, mostly just furniture. I'm just been yeah. experimenting with what I do on furniture. Right, right, right. Which is the fun part, right? Oh yeah, I got to do a epoxy stuff on a furniture piece. And... Oh, nice, like resin? Yeah, actually. Nice, nice, nice. Show you. Um, I'm a, you're kind of sitting like the the. Uh, I can speak. I can use word. The laptop <laughs> is the word. on top of it. So let me see if I can show you what I've done. So this is the resin I did on this table. Nice. Yeah. Love it. What so kind of stones do you have in there? Just regular old stones. Yeah. But I, I, did, I have never tried resin or epoxy on furniture, but I have done a lot of surfaces. I did a lot of resin work 
mm, started two years ago and I did it for a good year. Mm -hmm. Trays, jewelry, uh, acrylic pours. I say acrylic pours. Well, resin pours. <laughs> yeah. Um, or I did acrylic pours and sealed them or covered them with resin, you know? Yeah. And I really liked it. It's just uh, a big mess, a big, a big setup. You know, once you set up, you kind of have to play for a long time to make it worth it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to move us down a little. I'm not sure if you can see. My screen is so little, I'm having a hard time seeing what, what can y'all see? <laughs> Uh, the top of the vanity. And now, okay. you're ah. now you're on the floor. All right, take two. I dropped it on the floor and screenshotted your piece. How lucky is that? <laughs> All right, let me see. All right, I think we're good now. I'll try not to drop everybody again. I really love cherry pick. You know, it looks so dark in the container, but look, and actually it looks very different on different surfaces. Look at yours compared to mine. Yeah, it's a lot lighter on yours. Yeah, but I have, that's weird because you have a lighter surface. Well, I guess that does make sense. I'm, I'm working on a dark piece and you're going on white. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? I'm trying to get this dang water bottle and it's like not wanting to, am I turning it wrong? Like, I don't get it. What's, what's going on water bottle? Water bottle, speak to us. Oh, there we go, got it. Now I bought some misters off of Amazon, really cheap. Yeah. That's so what I, I used. Now I have some spray ones that I haven't used them yet. I might use it on this piece to dilute some paint and spray on top of different coats. Yeah. Like for accents. And I'm probably going to do that with this piece and the mermaid tail. That's what I'm hoping. So I think I'm going there. I wonder which of the new colors um, are the most popular as far as sales, you know? Which one do you think? Oh, I don't know. That's like a tough one. I would say maybe, I, I don't know. I think the the green, is that the Avery? No, well, Monet's Garden. Really? I would think that would be one just because it's a deep green. But I don't know, these purples, these purples are probably pretty up there somewhere. Do you, and since, sorry, but, no, you, go ahead. If you have, do you use any other paint besides your no. no, I mean, I have in the past. Yeah, for sure. I, I think we've, we've all tried multiple, right? <laughs> yeah. And, um, I have, and you know, some of them are pretty good, but I, I think just the way the DIY paint is just so versatile, you know, and so easy to blend and just having that clay, clay paint base or that clay base, you know? Yeah. I think makes it so much easier to do exactly what you're doing, you know? Yeah. I've tried to blend using the Mr. Bottle with other brands and it's really difficult, you know? Yeah. And I know most people think out there that the chalk paint is the biggest, baddest paint out there, but honestly, I'm so sold on the clay based paint, you know? It's hard. And I think until you've tried it, you yeah. know, you, you can't really say. 
And I think a lot of people don't even know about it. Yeah, you know? it's a very underrated product. Cause I, um, you, you know, you look at other artists and you kind of see like how they're painting and their techniques and stuff. And there's one girl that I really think is really cool. She uses exclusively Dixie Bell. And when she was, ex you know, describing the, uh, all the different products that they have, I'm like, wow, you know, like that's really cool. But I just wish that DIY was on that same track. Right, right. As far as finishes and things like that? Yeah, like they have like, Dixie Belle has like a better glitter paint and like the white lightning I've heard great things about. And I just want to like try it. But I, I'm, I'm almost like too loyal to DIY. Right? Yeah. I feel the same way. Like, like me and DIY, we're, we're buds, you know? You feel like you're best friends with Debbie and... Why would you right. be your friend? Right. <laughs> but I mean, I know several of the, even the DIY uh, retailers carry other paints, you know? Yeah. But to me, I, I don't know if it's just being like really wanting to be organized and just kind of know one product and know one well, you know, it makes me just want to use one, you know? Yeah. And since DIY is my personal favorite, I think that's why I have been drawn to that. I mean, this, this is my personal collection. So this isn't even my paint order. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so see what my preference is, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, one thing I do want to work on is like organizing my supplies. Oh my gosh. Do you want to look at my garage right now? Yes. This is my garage. Yes, that about looks like my, oh wait, I see pink buckets on the wall. Yeah, Dave, my husband is like all about organization and he gets really antsy when he comes in here. He tries. But it's just not functional because it's such like a long space, you know? Right, right, right. I get it. I've, my dining room, I'm currently up in, in Lake Charles at a place called Gidry's Warehouse. It's a secondhand furniture store. Mm -hmm. And um, we met because he asked me to refinish some of their pieces so that they would sell faster, better, more money. Mm -hmm. And I just sort of moved in. <laughs> so I do have a space in my personal house, but like you said, I mean, it's hard to turn in an odd shaped space that was really meant to be a dining room or a garage into a studio. So yeah, we live here for the most part, you know, and we give each other business. So I don't know if everybody is like wondering what I'm doing, but I am a baby wipe fanatic. So I clean my pieces with baby wipes. I wash my hands with them. I clean my brushes. I wipe drip marks. I distress with baby wipes. I mean, I buy a case at a time or sometimes two. So I see a lot of people use rags or shop rags or whatever, but I am a baby wipe. Fanatic. I go through paper towels like crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I have a I have a kid that's in diapers still. So yeah. You already have baby wipes on hand. Yeah, but I get antsy when I use them for other things besides her butt. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so the base of these end, the end tables or the sides is gonna be mermaid tail. So is that veneer that's on them? Yes, and I peeled off some, which you can see, like some of it was loose, I peeled up, but you won't be able to tell. You can sand it down or I just paint over it. I peel off what just sort of comes off like this. Yeah. And then I paint. Doesn't it leave like a, like a gouge looking thing? Um. Well, no, not really. Not what you'd think. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but no. Um, especially when you sand it down and you blend colors and it just gives it character, you know, honestly. 
Now I had a headboard footboard that I'm working on now uh -huh. and it would have shown, it would have, you know, with the finish and the color. Yeah. It would have shown. So uh, I patched it, I took veneer off another place, patched it in the spot and then used some wood putty. Yeah. And, and, trying to get through. Uh, and then I used some wood putty just to smooth it out. But this one, I don't care because it's gonna be all blended and mix match anyway. Yeah. So I just peel off the loose pieces and I start painting. So. Do you, did you work with like MD, uh, MDF or particle board? I, I hope not to. <laughs> I mean, I can't say people don't ask me to refinish furniture that is that, but I don't encourage them to. I encourage them to use real wood, you know, like real wood's gonna last from now until forever, you know? Yeah and particle board will not so i have a hard time letting people invest money into particle board you know and the shop that i was just telling you about that i'm at he has a lot it's a used furniture but it's a lot of really nice pieces like solid wood yeah and so a lot of my clients just buy from him and have me refinish because it is solid wood you know do you find that it's getting harder and harder to find that? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Look, uh, no, say no. hi, Justin. Hold on. Let me find Justin. You have to come in here. So say hi, Justin. Hi, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> You're live in Virginia. Um, so Justin Gidry, he owns the Gidry's warehouse that I was telling you about. Yeah. And he gets a lot of his pieces from storage rooms. But he, when you said, is it hard to find pieces, he, he commented, yes, it is because they don't make it yeah anymore yeah they don't make furniture like they used to and even when you say oh this is solid wood when he and i get to looking at the piece of furniture that's supposed to be brand new we would both prefer the 30 dollar table across the room that's truly solid wood than the brand new piece of furniture that's got plastic legs and whatever else you know yeah like i bought a table online that said it was solid wood and it came and sometimes I don't know what it is, but I know it's not wood. So I don't know if it's like laminate or veneer. It doesn't seem like- Right, they're getting creative with, with their supplies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they are sometimes. And I feel like, you know, I should know if this is wood or not. And sometimes I'm like, I have no idea. It's hard to tell sometimes. Justin and I were looking at an armoire the other day and we were trying to figure out what portion was wood and what wasn't. Yeah. And wasn't even wood or not. Like it was hard to actually tell. So I had this uh, this queen size headboard, and I was trying to cut it into a a bench, right? And it was it was wood on the outside. When I cut into it, what they did was they layered a thin piece, not like thin like veneer, maybe like an, an inch. Yeah, but they I have know what you're talking about. Yeah, part of, uh, freaking liars! <laughs> freaking like, liars! It's like Ashley Furniture. You can't get anything at Ashley Furniture. Can you can you hear Justin talking? yeah okay you can't get anything at ashley furniture that, that's real wood yeah that's solid all the way through you know yeah it's sad because people are paying thousands and, literally thousands of dollars and think that it's real wood right and they think it's a solid wood piece and it's not which is sad honestly yeah because yeah. when i show people like the furniture that he has out on the showroom floor, like, hey, you want a table? Let's look at these, you know? And I have to show them, like, look how well it's made. Look how amazing it was made. There aren't any screws or bolts or pressed wood in between. It's like literally solid wood melded yeah. into solid wood, you know? It's crazy. And I tell people, you want to invest in a piece of furniture? Invest in that solid wood piece and and paint that you know or refinish that not the new fancy stuff yeah like um we 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 got a headboard a ashley headboard really just intricate just really nice piece fancy looking yeah and um but it broke it broke yeah it broke so we went to the dump to throw it away when we threw it in the dumpster it broke in half and there was concrete. Concrete? 
concrete. You have got to be kidding. Like a filler so it feels heavy. Yes. Now that's getting pretty creative. Yes. AKA sneaky as heck. That's right. I was going to say that's some snake oil stuff. Right? That's insane. That's crazy. I've never seen like that. But, you know, some of, sometimes it is hard to tell. Wait, it looks like real wood, but something's off. Something's weird, you know? Yeah. So now they're filling things with concrete. Good to know. Yep. That's why it feels heavy. Yep. And a lot of times that's what we do. Oh, let me just feel it. Let me see if this is a heavy piece or not. Yeah. But if you, if you toss it into the life. dumpster and it falls apart, like, geez. The, the only wood that's really going to be heavy is going to be pecan and oak. Pecan everything, and oak. Yeah, everything else is going to be really light. Yeah, I know pine is super light, and it's also yeah. super crappy. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. We had a piece a while back, and it was a, that brand new floor de lis stuff, you know, with the big floor de lis on them. I don't know if you guys have that where, where you're at, but it's a big here, or it was big here, still kind of in and um brand new big dressers you know i mean it's real wood but it's just thin you know and i think you said that was like that pine or something mm -hmm. huh mexican pine mexican pine so and it's just like very light almost cheap even though it's solid wood yeah. just yeah. skinny wood it's like those skinny broads <laughs> um hey do you want me to mark that section also yeah yeah when do you want me to bring it? Um, I can do it. I can do it today. Okay, we'll probably do that then. All right. Um, what time are you planning on being here until then? Uh, two-ish. Okay. Whenever you're ready to get off. Oh no, we're good. We we're just making side plans over here, being rude. <laughs> I, have, I have to go get a section all at once. Okay, that's fine. Right. Take care. Welcome. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. No, I'm not either. I was in my room. I know. Have you been now, going I, paint, I don't paint on the inside rim. Somebody had asked that on one of my groups the other day, but I don't paint the inside rims of the drawers unless the design kind of shows them. I just kind of get them flush and paint across. Okay. I don't flip them upside down and paint the underneath, especially if it's an antique like this. This is, vanity is probably 1930s-ish. So I paint only what's seen so that there's some, some of that 1930s vanity still peeking through here and there, you know? Yeah. And plus it's not gonna be seen and that's a lot of extra labor and you know our supplies are expensive, so. Yeah, no reason for it. Right, it's kind of not necessary. I'm kind of so is, this gonna, is, is your piece going to be uh, used as a dresser or like for a TV or what? It's going to be used as like a, a dresser because what I'm doing is I'm building a desk inside the closet so that. The oh, yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know, I hate whenever I go places and I don't have anywhere to like spread out my stuff. Right, I, right, right. So, so your guests will actually have a big space. They'll have like, you know, this space that they can put things in. And I'm going to tell my husband not to put things in there, but he might end up putting things in there. <laughs> he might claim a little bit of space here or there. Yeah. Does he have hobbies like hunting or fishing or anything? Or is that a big, is that big in Virginia or no? Um, so he's originally from California, and he's really big into guns and yeah, um, airsofting, paintballing, stuff like that. Yeah. Gun enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all meet through the Army? No, we met through the Navy. Navy, I'm sorry. I knew you were Navy. No, it's okay. I'm not So bad. because you were traveling, or he was in the Navy also? He was in the Navy also. Cool. That's yeah. pretty neat. 
it's pretty rare that it always that it you know works out. Most people don't last very long. Why do you think that is? Because they meet in a certain location and then they move and that's not where their families are from or? A lot of things, yeah, different families. They end up uh, deploying a lot and, you know, it's just uh, people yeah. require different things out of relationships. And Yeah, that's true. Sometimes people don't think about it. Right. Because it's something new and shiny. <laughs> Yeah. It's a new shiny toy. Yeah. I'm really liking this kissing booth and cherry pick together. Yes, it's beautiful. I, think I'm I love it. You know, it looks like a deeper eggplant-ish, you know? Yeah. Until you see it like that with pinks and purples. And then it's like a true purple, you know? Yeah. I love that a lot. Of course, any chance to use kissing booths is an amazing opportunity. Yeah, it's such a weird color. People don't tend to like it. I love it. Love it, love it. But the <clears throat> my client, the teenager, she she originally wanted blues and creams. And then when she saw all the colors, she was like, heck with cream. <laughs> I don't we're going, we're going all blue. Did she come with like a, a photo or something she was liking? No, she was actually like, I even asked her mom after she left, like, is she artistic? You know, like, does she, you know, thrive in art or does she do fabrics? Like, you know, what, what creative world did she come from? And she was like, she didn't. She swims on the swim team or whatever. And I was like, are you kidding me? She was like, so amazing as far as like picking colors and things, you know? Yeah. So she just randomly started picking colors and they just all were amazing colors and they're going to look so great together, you know? Yeah. They're looking really cool. Yeah, it is. And of course, you know, like once it's blended, you know? Yeah. Look even more amazing. So what other tips, tell me some tips or tricks or techniques that you think you do that maybe aren't so popular? Like, do you think you, if, you, if there's a furniture painter watching us, what would you say is something that works the best for you that might not be the most popular? Or do you think you kind of follow what the majority of the furniture artists do? Um, well, it all depends on who you're, who you're following. So there may be, true, a true. so like, true. yeah, Dion kind of inspired me to blend, you know, cause you, you right. get someone who doesn't see Dion's work or when you do, you're like, that's impossible to, to do. And then when you wash or paint, you're like, oh, oh, so kinda, easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's not impossible. I mean, it's not sometimes like, I remember when I was doing a, a cedar chest I did, I muddled that paint so bad. <laughs> I muddled it. And I yeah. remember one of Dion's videos was like, you're going to muddle this paint so hard if you don't let it dry overnight. And I was like, I don't right. want to listen to that. I can right. just keep painting. <laughs> right. Because I'm not patient either. I'm like, I can do it all in one sitting. No, you yeah. can't. <laughs> no, you can't. So definitely like. Let's try. Yeah. Let it, let it dry. Give it, it time. And also like you may have an idea in your head, but then when you come back to it, you're like, oh no, Wait. this will work better. Exactly. And, and you know, I feel like when you're working with colors and it's your own piece, yeah. it's just like sitting, it's therapy, you know? Yeah. Which, you know, all of this is to me, it's therapy. It's, you know, they say art is, you know, therapy for somebody. It's, definitely that for me you know yeah it makes me my, and my mind to both allow me to to do something this is what i want to do yeah I and think, why not you get to play with color and paint right i think this needs a third color yeah that's why i was wondering about the center you know like blending in another color in there I guess it depends on what you have. Well, you were wanting to do some sort of turquoise, right? I was thinking about doing the drawer, like, on the sides. So oh, yeah, yeah. Fancy. 
Because yeah. my my curtains are all turquoise, and so if I do more turquoise, do more turquoise. Much, yeah, so I have to do this mostly the pink. Um, what about? Do you have any of the lighter, like French millinery, the light lavender? Oh, like the light light purples. Uh huh. No. Well, tell me what colors you do have. I have. Let me go look. I have tarnished pearl. Um, now that's one I've played with a little bit, but I haven't used yet. Hey, what if you took the tarnished pearl and add a little bit of the cherry pick or a little bit of the kissing booth and made you a lavender? What if I did metallic? Oh yeah. What if I did like this champagne metallic? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that color. Give it a shine. Yeah, give it a try. Let's see. I gotta let this dry or I'm gonna mess it up. Right. But you know, that's the beauty of working with clay paint, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Oh yeah, because the great thing about DIY paint is you could wash it off. Exactly. If you don't like that color in two hours, guess what? Wash you it either off. paint over it or get a wet cloth and wipe it off. And no, by the time you get finished and you seal it, it's not gonna just wipe right off. Oh my gosh, look at this. Do you see, can you, oh my gosh. Wow, I love that. Look how good you blended all that. That looks so good. Oh, someone's calling me. Well, hello, somebody. That's my sister. She can, Hi, sister. She can wait. I do Sorry, like sis. It. Having a painting party. We're painting here. So do you have to motivate yourself to get outside in that garage? Or do you find it easy being at home? Because I, like I said, I have space at home, but I just, it's hard for me to motivate, motivate, bleh, motivate myself to do that when I'm at home and could start cooking or cleaning or, well, so I, do I have myself, a really, but. like my daughter is not even two yet. So. Oh, you're busy. Yeah. Going places stresses me out because I don't, I can't control what she touches, but if she's in my home and she gets into something, it's a hundred percent my fault because I left it out. Right. So, and you well, and you know what's already out too. You know she's she's not in danger. You know. Yeah. yeah. My house yeah. is be proof. And then you know I get to do it during nap times. But my biggest thing is, so housework doesn't stress me out because I just let it go. Like I'm at yeah. a point where yeah. I'm able to live in a certain level of filth. And you know what? There's like so much time in the day. That if I'm exactly. really, really worried about laundry, which by the way, I totally have to do that. I'm running on like, you know, <laughs> the underwear that you find in the very back that you have. Right. The underwear that you hate that are baggy or too small or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that pair. Yeah. So well, I'm I mean, up on housework. Yeah. Well, you have to work around nap time and all that too, you yeah. know? So. Yeah your time is limited anyway. So I guess for you, that's the best of both worlds, having a space right there at home, you know? It is, it is. And honestly, I go to school full time. Um, Girl, how do you do all that? I don't have a husband for most of the year. So I have a lot of time. Wow, is he deployed? Yeah, he's deployed right now. What, I did not know that. Where this, is he? He's on the ship, the Truman. Wow. Yeah. So where is the ship out of? Norfolk. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. They're I over guess I should have known that. No, no, no. Maybe, like, you know how it is. Not everybody reads military news, so. Yeah. All right. I only know what my brother tells me. Yeah. <laughs> I really wow. Like so how is the communication on the water? So every time they go farther towards the Middle East, they gain like an hour. And there was, a, since I deployed too, I understand that like there's a certain point where it's like every two to three days, you jump forward an hour. So 
Oh. Right now, yeah, it's the middle of the night for him right now and he works on days. So when we talk, it's like, I'm going to bed and he's just like getting into work or am I waking up? Yeah. Day? So, wow. I mean, well, that must be really tough, especially with a two-year-old girl and you're going to school. Like you're like superwoman. No. This yes. Is like our fourth deployment. The Truman's the only deployable ship right now. So they've been going on constantly. Well, just because you've done it four times does not mean it is something super hard and valiant, ma'am. That's true. Granted, I know you don't have a choice, but that's just freaking amazing. So I know that this will be his last time. So how do you know that? He's transferring in March. Where are y'all going? Or you don't know yet? No, we're staying here. That's why we bought a house is we knew he was going to be stationed. And so like Virginia has like so many bases and like different places, different rates. Oh, wow. I did not even know that. Yeah. So there's another base called Oceana. That's where he's going to go. And that's here in Virginia Beach. So we bought this house and that way because I've moved every single year for the past like three to four years I can't imagine I mean, I'm my so brother and sister in law moved all the time I'm so it sick of this. we're buying a house I'm so sick of this yeah and it's probably fun to work on it and do projects you know I, when you first get a house and you've moved so much I'm sure it's like getting to work on a project at the house is probably like fantastic. so like like claiming it like this is my house yeah and I can do what I want, and I'm going to do things that are permanent, not more so like we're about to deploy. Yeah. I was telling, um, my husband was like, I told him, I was like, this doesn't feel like home. And he was like, what are you talking about? Because we've like, we've done so much. We've only been living here for almost six months now. And we did the beach. Yeah. And we've redone the backyard. We replaced the hot water heater. Um, we just not, keep, so, not so fun stuff yeah but it's fun for us because we're like we don't you know because living in other houses we lived in some crappy houses that like would fall apart so it was yeah. just fun to have control over the speed at which things get done the quality at which things get done you know well, especially I mean? if you're both handy you know yeah. if you're both crafty yeah. I say crafty I guess it's a lot more than being crafty you know wow that looks like a mermaid desk or vanity. yeah well you know how it looks before you blend it's just like face coat life you know yeah that looks really good so it's gonna have a lot of colors and if you guys can see how she blended these colors can you show up closer again Y'all saw how the dark purple was separate and then she had a pink line. Look how she added the water and she blended them. So that's what the vanity will, will look like. I'll blend one color to another and then I'll add in, like she's adding the metallic into the center of the drawers and she'll be blending that too. So that's yeah. what will happen here. Yeah. That's gonna look awesome. really good. I know we should have paid more attention and like zoomed in when you were blending because that's like such a hard, thing I do it so much yeah that's all right we'll just replay just replay yeah we should do this like weekly I yeah uh, I want to start painting with people on my page weekly yeah we need yeah. to call our show something okay anybody that's watching what should our show be called <laughs> paint with me Tuesday hey it can be anything you want it to be ma'am that's true Thank you for including me and inviting me. That was so kind of you. Of course. It was fun talking to you too. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah, me too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Live. I know, <laughs> I know, because I, I met you on the Talk To Me Tuesday and then we talked right. back and forth for a little bit. Right. Yeah. And she graciously invited me to paint with her. Yeah, that was going to be fun because I saw Dion do it one time and I was like, that looks like a hoot. <laughs> Oh, it's fun. Just to like talk to people like almost in person, right? Yeah. And share something that, you know, you're not just talking to nobody because nobody is on right now watching live. Yeah. So. Replay. Hashtag replay. Yeah. Use it.
you people you people yeah okay cool well we will tag we'll like put the links to our pages i'll share it to my page okay and anybody that watches later and has an idea on what our show could be called we'll come at you every week yeah have fun all right okay dear <laughs> all thank right. you yeah have a good day you too